So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna look next to system manufacturer. It's now gonna be showing you where your manufacturer is. It might be like Dell, Lenovo, Asus, HP or Acer. You just wanna take note of whatever it says there. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to any web browser. And now let's say that for me, it said Dell right here, which means that my manufacturer is Dell. I'm gonna to go to my web browser and then type in Dell driver download. For you, if it's like HP, you wanna type in HP driver download, Lenovo, Lenovo driver download, etc. For me, I'm gonna be doing Dell driver download. Now, once we're here, you just wanna to go to the website. It's gonna look different for every website, but it's still pretty much gonna be the same thing. So if you get to something like this, where it says identify your product, you wanna just put in your serial number. So to get your serial number, then you wanna head over to search and type in CMD, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in WMIC space BIOS space get space serial number. Click on enter. It should then be showing you what your serial number is, which you could then type in here and you could then search for your laptop. If you do not have your serial number, then there may be another option that says browse all products or something else, which will then help you to find your product. And you may also get another download right here, something that's called like support assistant. It may look different for you, but once you download this, it will then automatically detect if your device has any drivers that will need to be updated. It's up to you if you want to go with this option. I actually highly recommend it instead. But anyways, now I'm going to go to browse all products and now I'm going to select computers. Again, it might look different for you depending on what website you're on. Then you want to go to laptops and then you just want to select your laptop. Let's just say that I want to do Alienware Dell laptop. I'm going to select any one of these. You want to select your own one though and then just keep on selecting it, select this product. It will then take you to a page looking like this, where it's going to be saying drivers and downloads, and then select your category. For me, it's going to be mouse, keyboard, and input devices. Again, it's going to look different depending on your website that you're on. Scroll down, and then your driver should be right here. For me, it's called a Dell Touchpad driver. I'm going to click on download, and it's now going to start downloading. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do get a tool like this that says let Dell or whatever website that you're on automatically find driver updates for you, then you want to go with this option instead. So click on check for updates, download that, and then it'll do it for you. And then once you have this downloaded, we're just going to install it. And then once this comes up, you're going to click on yes. And then once you're on this, you just want to follow through the steps. It's very easy. So click on install. For you, it might look a bit different, but it's still pretty much going to be the same thing. And now in my case, I'm using a virtual machine. I'm not using Dell, so I don't need to install this. But in your case, very self-explanatory. Just carry on with the download, and then you should be good to go. And then once you install that, for the last step, you just want to restart your computer. And then you should be good to go.